So, anyway, I just want to help you out with some of the components to your final exam part two. And um, as you can see, this is kind of built off of the, what we covered in final exam part one. But I changed up a few components. The first thing I kind of changed was the this guy right here. You no longer have a little tree with the Tarzan looking thing. But you got this weird contraption. It almost looks kind of like what we've solved before, you know, in the past. It's it's a ramp, right? And so, so here's the deal. You, this time, uh, instead of, you know, swinging down and getting launched out, I'm, I'm going to change it up and make it a ramp. And so that's kind of what I did was you, there's a rope that kind of goes all the way down. And you take out a machete and you cut the bottom half of the rope. And so that basically is going to cause this rock to fall. And as that rock falls, you get shot up this up this ramp. Cool? And let me see. What was the question? All right. So you have mass M. And you see some kind of frictionless pulley that's attached to it. Uh, over the pulley, there's a frictionless rope and a gigantic boulder of mass M. Or this would be little m which is your mass and big m which is the boulders mass you can call it something else you can call it m sub b if you want um, you know just make sure you guys know the, the difference and you grab onto the other end of the rope uh, when you grab onto the other end of the rope the system is at rest and the coefficient of friction between you and the ramp is mu equals 0 0.030 so by the way uh, mu which is this crazy looking U sign, right? Equals 0 0.30. Cool? Alright, so, um, the question asks, draw a free body diagram for the boulder, draw a free body diagram of you, what is the tension of the rope, um, draw a picture of the scenario, make sure you label all your forces, all of that kind of stuff. So, basically the way I do these final exams is I break it up into three parts, and I say, alright, First level, level one, this is like average level. This is the achievement level. If you can achieve, if you can reach the achievement level, I'd be pleased. It would be like a C student, an average student can get can do these problems. You don't need as much math, uh, you know, it's not gonna be as in detail, but it's gonna ask you a lot of questions conceptually. That's important. The second part is achievement with merit. And that basically says, all right, I can do most of the math. Not all of it, I mean most of it. So I would say that that would be like a B student. If you do all of that stuff in there, you get about a B. Sound good? And the last one is achievement with excellence. So that's like my A student, the guy, the guy or girl who's killing the exam. Um, and actually, you know, I actually have more girls in my class than guys. Um, but the, the, the guy or girl who's killing the exam, or the, the final, the the class and, and basically knows everything about how to solve all, all of these things and does all kinds of in-depth analysis and looks at the units and looks at the um, the data after the end, the, the expression, and makes sure to solve out everything works nicely, works neat, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so this is the problem. So basically here, let me show you what it kind of looks like. If, so we got ourselves a... Um, a ramp that is an angle theta, and I think I should tell you what that ramp the angle is. Did I tell it to you? I did. I didn't tell it to you. Let's make it thirty degrees. The coefficient when you grab onto the massive sort of gigantic over ramp. At an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal with the masses for the okay. And there's a pulley attached to the top. Sound cool? And over this pulley lies a rope that's massless. The reason why I say it's a massless rope because if I said it was a, a pulley that had friction in on it or a pulley that has mass on it or a rope that has mass on it, it becomes a calculus problem. And you actually have to take that into account in a big boy uh, or girl physics. But in this case, you know, since you guys are just learning it, I'm making it massless objects. Sound cool? And then what you do is you, 
basically grab onto this rope. And then you want to fly up this ramp so you cut the rope and then basically shoots you up there. Sound cool? Okay. Now, what kind of forces are we looking at on this on this thing? Let's, let's kind of get you started off with this problem. Force normal, where's that? Speak up so that they can hear you. Force normal, that one uh, is on the, on the guy. On the guy or the girl. Or the girl. Because this is you, so I guess in this particular case it's a girl. Yeah, all right. The ramp is pushing up on top of it. Yeah, so it's perpendicular to the direction of the ramp. We call that pass point. Sound good? Mm -hmm. What else? Force of gravity. Force of gravity on what? Um, I'm guessing maybe the end of the um, boulder. Force of gravity. And over here I'm going to call it WB. Is that right with you? This would be force of gravity, which is equal to MG. You're pretty familiar with that, right? Mm -hmm. And then this is the mass of the boulder times gravity. They're both MG, really. I just needed some way to distinct between the two. All right, what else we have? We got. What else we had? I, I don't know. I was gonna say have and got at the same time. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I told you that the coefficient of friction equals zero point three zero. I mean, look at the picture. Does that look very fun to write up? <laughs> anyway, there's friction in between here and here. Um, the, the, you're right. I did say the pulley was frictionless, but I didn't say that the ramp was frictionless. So there's friction over here, which gives you a force of what? Force of friction. Which direction is that going? So down, yeah? All right, and then what else do you got? There's two more forces that you're thinking. Tension. Good. Tension and tension. Cool. So, by the way, just to give you a heads up, you know for this problem right here, what is the tension in the rope? Um, I'm going to ask you that question again in the advanced version. Uh, or... Okay, um, I guess I'm not going to ask you. Maybe I should. No, I'll, I'll, I'll ask it right here. What is the tension T in the rope during the motion? Um, Okay, now, for this first part... I right, said, so give your answer in terms of the mass of the boulder and the acceleration, which you have to calculate. Or, which um, you have yet to calculate. So, you don't need to... You're going to have... You're going to get to me, and there's going to be something that you don't know. You get it? So, that's fine, because that's the low-level one. All right? Now, you should give it to me in everything that you do know. So, later on, I'm going to ask you to calculate what is the acceleration. And once you calculate the acceleration, you can replace that in the original one. That's how you can give me the advanced, more advanced version. Does that kind of make sense? So like over here, this is basically, you're going to set up the equation, maybe solve it a little bit, but it's not going to be that hard. Um, and then over here, that's when I, you actually give me the straight up answer. To be honest with you, if I were me, um, and I usually am, I could just ask you straight, what is the tension in the rope? And then you would need to know, oh, I need to do this step and this step and this step. But what I decided to kind of do with this one is that I kind of walking you through it. And the first step you'll want to take, I said, well, that's the beginner level. And then just straight up asking you the tension of the rope, well, that's the super advanced level. Cool? Mm -hmm. Does that kind of make sense to you? Yes. Okay. Um, so let me finish writing that. But since there aren't any, aren't any more questions on that, I think we're good with that.